Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now today, we're doing a little something different. This is, I believe, my first video of 2022, so yeah. I thought I'd start off the new year with something a little different. We are doing a top 10 favorite Showa kaijus from the Godzilla franchise. Now, keep in mind, I am doing the Godzilla franchise. I'm not counting Gamera or Daimajin. Daimajin? However you pronounce his name. Or anything like that. But I am counting pretty much most Showa Toho movies. Because if you didn't know, most, pretty much all the Showa Godzilla movies. And movies that don't include Godzilla, but they're still kaiju movies made by Toho in the Showa era, are actually like connected with Godzilla, which it's kind of confusing, but you know. <sighs> well, um, my, my number one is obvious. Oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, so my number one is probably, and this is not gonna surprise every anyone, but it is Mecha Godzilla, the 1974 and 1975 Mecha Godzilla. I think it's my favorite version of Mecha Godzilla of all time. It it's such a cool design. I love the spinny hand rockets. I love its roar. I love its design. I love how it just. It can literally overpower Godzilla in, um, what's his face? Um, King, King Caesar, like, he can, like, take both of them on at the same time. I mean, he lost, but he held his ground, like, oh my gosh, I just, I, I, this is no surprise to anyone, but he is, like, one of my number ones. And... Well, keep in mind, I am doing Showa. I will make separate lists for Heisei and Millennium in the new era. Don't remember what the new era is called. Um, yeah. And number two, again, this is probably no surprise, but it's Mogira. The Showa Mogira from the incredible film The Mysterians. And you could probably guess this, noting that... Magira is sitting on my desk right here with um for my uh videos and I just really I don't know a lot of people prefer the Heisei Magira but for some reason I really really enjoy the show of Magira. I don't know what it is about it but I love its uh, I love its lasers. I love just I love its design. Uh, some people will think that it looks kind of dumb. And I will admit, the color scheme's a little strange, but this is like the 50s when this was made. So. But still, absolutely love Shua Magira. Probably I love the kaiju so much, or the mech, is because I enjoyed the movie Mysterious so, so much. Now, at number three, I put these guys in the same, um, same list. It's Sanda and Gyra from War of the Gargantuas. Like I said, yes, it was part of the Godzilla universe, Showa universe to be exact. So, the, um, Sanda and Gyra, the Gargantuas, all that stuff. I really loved War of the Gargantuas, even though I did watch the, um, the American cut, which leaves out a few important details, but I still really enjoyed the film. I liked the design, even though some people don't. Um, I really think it's interesting that it's actually technically a sequel to Frankenstein vs. Baragon, which, which is really surprising to me. I technically, Sanda and Gyra are the children of Frankenstein. Yeah, it's. I really like the movie Frankenstein Conquers the World or Frankenstein vs. Paragon. 
really good Godzilla film as well. well not Godzilla, really good show film as well. Anyway, um, at number four, we have Gizora. The yes, the giant squid that gives you frostbite from uh, Space Amoeba. Um, I don't know. I just I feel like I think Space Amoeba was one of the first Showa uh, Godzilla movies. Well, like I said, not Godzilla movies. One of the first Showa Toho kaiju movies I ever watched. And I don't know. There's just it has the nostalgia advantage and. I just really love its design. I love its roar. I think they killed him off too quickly, to be honest. Um, I also really enjoyed Space and Me, but I loved the final fight and all that stuff. Um, at number five... I can't believe I put him in five. It's King Ghidorah, the Emperor of the Cosmos, as they call him in the... In the, in the movies, but... Or Monster Zero... Or whatever. And, yeah, I mean, this comes to no surprise. I mean, he's King Ghidorah. I mean, pff, come on. I mean, I love his scenes in both of his movies. I love the way he just flies over the, um, flies over the city, shooting his beam. Like, when he's shooting his electricity at the buildings, it, they made it look like he could really, like, demolish a city in a matter of minutes. It was insane to me when I first watched it. Like, it was just crazy. And obviously, King Ghidorah is, like, one of the big five, so. So is Mechagodzilla, so, you know. I mean, had to have some of them up here, right? I tried not to put, like, super well-known kaiju on here just because, you know, gotta give the other guys a chance, right? You get to get, get for other people to know. Uh, lesser known kaiju, which I like to do, because I actually really like lesser known kaiju. I prefer lesser known kaiju sometimes, and I really love wanting for people to, you know, love lesser known kaiju as much as I do. Anyway, um, at number six, another easy one, Anguirus. Now, I loved. Well, I wouldn't say loved. I liked Godzilla vs. Gigan. Godzilla's March, one of the best songs in the Showa era, but they're all good, to be honest. Um, I really, really liked, like, how in Godzilla Raids Again, they were, like, enemies. Well, technically, um, Anguirus died at the end of that film. So it's probably Anguirus' offspring that become friends with Godzilla, which is kind of awkward, but at the end of Godzilla Raids again, Godzilla ends up killing um, Anguirus, where like he pretty much burns, so he's dead. <laughs> pretty obvious. Um, so in a few years, then there's Anguirus' offspring, which is the Anguirus we usually... Like, jump to when someone's talking about Anguirus. Um, I really enjoyed how, like, after all their fights, Godzilla and Anguirus become, like, best buds. That's kind of what they point into in the movies. Like, how they're, like, best friends and all that stuff. And they fight against Ghidorah and Gigan and all that stuff. You know? And then, speaking about Gigan, our seventh one on the list is Gigan. Ow. Gigan, I always loved his, like, personality. I loved his little laser hands. He's always do his, like, shing, shing. That was dumb. But, yeah. <laughs> he always... I love his personality. I, I do feel like he does... Um, he does get to... Co- get to... Bleh, sorry. He does get to, uh, too cocky in his fight sometimes. And that usually leads to his downfall. Like, he, you know, sometimes he'll celebrate too early. He thinks he wins, but then, like, Godzilla gets up for round two and he gets his butt kicked. Um, other than that, I enjoy his design. Final Wars design, definitely better, though. It's like a green, green robot dinosaur, cyborg dinosaur. I just really wish we ever got to see him 
like before they gave him his robotic enhancements. If you didn't know, yes, Gigant was a normal space kaiju. But then they gave, I think it was the the cockroach people from Godzilla vs. Gigant. It's a long story, but um, they gave somebody some alien race and gave them um cy- him cybernetic advancements. So pretty much. Either that, or, like, he was a dead corpse that was given, which is a bit more dark, but, you know. And number eight, um, a more lesser known, but also very known at the same time, Mechanicon. I, I I would say the suits in King Kong Escapes weren't the, the best, but Mechanicon... Mechanicon suit was great. Like, I enjoyed his character. Uh, I enjoyed, I enjoyed his design. I just thought uh, there's just something he he has a certain certain charm about him that I guess because like Mechagodzilla and I guess people really like the fact that uh Mecha Godzilla and like Godzilla and King Kong have robotic counterparts cuz when people think uh like kaiju robots they go to like oh Mecha Godzilla but but you know like Kong has a robotic counterpart too so you know let's talk about him I also like his hypnotizing like his hypnotic control which I wish they explored that more in like the Godzilla movies I think they were gonna make a Heisei movie where they Godzilla fights Mechanic Kong, but other than that, I do wish that they did something with it. Or like the Zillions or the Exillions, they stole the hypnotic device and used it to. This is kind of like Destroy All Monsters Part Two, but with the Zillions. And they, like, ev- they take, they use this hypnotic device, mass produce it. I'm making up this whole story, but pretty much they yeah, hypnotize literally every single Showa Godzilla monster, like, of all time. And Godzilla has to fight them all, or something. I just thought it would be interesting, you know. Um, enough about that. And number nine, Jet Jaguar. Now... I know he kind of gets a lot of hate, but he has made a reappearance in Singular Point, uh, which his design was a bit odd, but I enjoyed it. And um, I just really liked his personality in the movie, and I I just thought he was very, very charming, and I loved how he just... I think it was funny how he was just able to communicate with Godzilla, which was funny to me for some reason. It's probably funny to some other people, but um, I also like the fact that he can just randomly make himself big. Like, they don't explain that at all. It's the 70s. Let's go with it. Um, And at number 10, this is kind of just thrown on there because I was running, running out of kaiju. Varen. Yeah, I put Varen. Um I I like Varen. Uh I watched his I quote unquote watched his movie because I watched like in the American cut from Prime Video and it was um interesting. There was like so much cut out, they got rid of his roar. I think it was called, like, Varen Monsters of Monster of the Deep, or something like that. It was kind of bad, but I really, I really liked his design. I liked how his spikes lit up. Like, his design was very good for, like, its time period, you know? Like, back in, like, black and white. I thought, I think his design looked better than the Godzilla and Godzilla rates again. And now for some honorable mentions. Um, Frankenstein from Frankenstein vs. Baragon. I know people are going to be like, what? Eh, he looks so ugly. But like, 
I really enjoyed his movie. I thought his character development was in- <laughs> character development was interesting. Um, I like I loved his fight with um Baragon. Uh, his I like his regeneration powers, and I enjoyed that Toho kind of brought him back using uh, where the Garcantia was. Second uh, honorable mention is Megalon from Godzilla vs. Megalon. Now, I really enjoyed his design. I liked his drill hands. And I liked his uh, his little like bombs he could shoot out from his mouth. I thought that was interesting. And I liked that he's like really good friends with Gigan. I thought that was great. And the last uh, honorable mention is Gorosaurus, making his first appearance in King Kong Escapes and going in uh, Destroy All Monsters. I just think, I really like his design. I think he's like a realistic kaiju. Like, if kaijus were going to be real, that's what they would look like. Just like oversized dinosaurs. I like his design. I think his kangaroo kick thing is stupid. Like, huh. Um, but other than that, I just like how realistic he is. Like, an atomic dinosaur. He's an atomic dinosaur like Godzilla, but I feel like if a giant dinosaur, a giant atomic dinosaur was actually, like, real, it wouldn't look like Godzilla. It looked like Gorosaurus. Anyway... That's my list. I will do uh, Millennium and Heisei and stuff like that. But for now, uh, we'll see you guys later. Uh, I'm Ultra H. I will be making more Godzilla videos in the future, hopefully. And I will see you guys later. Uh, like the video if you didn't. I mean, like the video if you liked it. Or dislike the video if you didn't like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you.